Hello everyone, it's Magic here, and as you can see, I'm cold, because I'm in cold and grey Sweden, in a, a little town called Solentuna, which is apparently historically an important town to Sweden. Uh, if you know the history, let me know down in the comments. And today, I have something special for you, because I'm joining my glorious friend Aga, she's there in the bokeh, you can't see her yet. She's an amazing portrait photographer, and we're gonna try to create some amazing portraits here with her. Hey Aga, what we're we doing here today? Hello, today I'm gonna photograph a beautiful Sofia, uh, here in the Swedish forest. Uh, I really love this evergreen, kind of branches and uh, it's a month of February so there's no leaves on the trees but I love that the uh, pines they keep that vibrant green uh, that I really like in my photographs so we're gonna choose some lovely backdrop and uh, do some very simple portraits try to get a lot of natural beauty with a natural backdrop but also you told me that you are kind of planning every shoot so like yes what do you mean by planning a shoot like this? How do you plan a shoot like this? Uh, you know, there are some photographers, I think you're one of them, that just roll into a situation. That's me. See, like, whoa, this looks great, I'm gonna do this, and they make you laugh, and, and people uh, giggle, and they get beautiful photos. So it's a great way of shooting. I'm not this type of shooter. Uh, for me, I like to think of the mood that I like to portray in my image and prepare for it. So I would uh, draw different kind of angles, scene, and think of different elements that I would like to add. And then I find a location that uh, suits that, that kind of mood. Yeah, can you show some drawings for this shoot? Sure. So the drawings are very primitive. You may not understand what's going on, but the most important thing is that I understand what's happening. Uh, and it, it really is about planning some compositions. So when I arrive on the scene, I have a plan and I know what I'm looking for. Uh, and then I, of course, I'm not afraid to uh, play a little bit more and do something different, but I like to have a kind of a base to work from. So my weapon of choice is my trusted Nikon Z7 II. Uh, I'm going to use this with my favorite lens, which is 45 millimeter 2.8 uh, tilt shift from mm -hmm. Nikon. And I'm going to try to uh, this wonderful Profoto A1. Uh, I've got a trigger for the Nikon. I'm going to use um, modifier click softbox Okta and have a trusted, sturdy light stack. So because this is going to be my only lens for today, I'm going to use it both as a normal lens and as a tilt shift lens. So I'm going to tilt it a little bit, tilt it some more for some other images. I'm going to rotate the tilt so that the plane of focus is um, going not only vertically or horizontally through the frame, but also di diagonally. I'm going to play a little bit. For most of the images, I'm going to only tilt it a little bit so you can see that something is going on, but it's not very clear what it is. I need to be very stable. <laughs> so you see, only a little bit for now. I sometimes tilt it more, but I also like uh, when it's not so obvious. And what I do also is I just rotate, rotate it a tiny bit. So it's not like a, this very clear um, vertical line. <laughs> I always make my uh, very focused face. That's the only problem. Can you just explain what is about this location that just works for you? Sure, so um, the patch of forest is quite dark. This tree is really beautiful. So it eats up all the light on one side. On the great day like this, where the sky is just white and you don't really know where the sun is and where the light is coming from, I'm trying to create this difference in light and dark. So this cloud now acts as like a giant softbox and the trees behind 
eat some light. So she's gonna have light from the front that goes a bit darker on the back of her head. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, uh, I really like the texture of the needles and the color in the tree. I'm gonna shoot it a little bit underexposed so that moss behind her will turn into uh, almost black in the final picture. Okay, so I'm gonna do some flash now and try to a few different looks. I close your eyes for a second. From this side. So, okay, the light is changing. What are you looking for now? Uh, there's a little bit of sun com came out from the other side, so I'm just gonna look at how the light falls onto the trees and try to find a nice spot where I like the backdrop and I get um, a little bit of contour from the, from the sun. The sun is not too harsh, it's still behind the cloud, which is perfect. It's going to give us that soft light, it's going to match the other pictures too. I'm doing some close-ups of the branches just so uh, just because we're in this beautiful location and I always regret not doing it so uh, I like sometimes to have some photos that are a little bit um, more close-ups of the nature or some landscape images to incorporate into the story yeah and that's it it's getting colder and colder but uh, make sure to check out the photos. They are beautiful. Like these portraits are extraordinary. I love how soft and nice they are and like completely different from my work. I hope you enjoyed this kind of, um, you know, kind of off topic uh, video from what I always do. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Make sure to follow Aga and I see you guys in the next video. Bye -bye.